Hey guys, back again with another video. This tutorial is about setting up wireless networking for CCNA using a packet tracer. But before we can jump to wireless network, let's try to configure this basic topology first. Let's try to configure this basic topology first. So this, this will be the address of my router here. This will be the address of the rest of my devices. This will be the, the IP address I'm going to assign. So now let's give this router IP address. Let's give this router IP address. Enable hmm. on terminal. Name. IT department IP department enter now let's let, let me give uh, my router IP address let me give let, let me give my router IP address IP address 192.16 sorry dot one this is the address of my router Followed by the default subnet max for class C. No shit. Okay, fine. Now I have given my router IP address and also a host name. So now let's assign IP addresses to my PCs. Let's come to P0 IP configuration. So as you can see here, we have the two ways of giving or assigning IP addresses to our devices we have DHCP which is dynamic host configuring protocol and static so this is DHCP this is whereby the router dynamically give IP addresses to our machines but statically this is whereby like saying manually giving those IP addresses to machines so now let's assign them statically so the default gateway will be the gateway of router uh, the next is you now that will be my gateway, uh, and then come to my last PC gateway address of the router now I've assigned uh, my IP addresses to the machine so now let's see if my PC0 can be able to reach the router so the ping command is preferably or widely used for to see the reachability 10.1 okay oh, fine I mean, my, 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 my PC can be able my PC can able to, to see the P2 to reach the, 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 the router you can see here target sent for packets received for there's zero loss meaning they can communicate so we can also take a period here then see then we'll see that uh, the, 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 the SMP has successfully sent so now as you know that when we come to the, the, the wireless technology is much flexible as compared to the wired so let's take a scenario sometimes in the working environment in a boardroom whereby the the switch can reach so we have to have the wireless technology in those kind of places for the people to connect so now let's introduce our wireless technology let's introduce our wireless technology wireless technology here okay now let's take my uh, my router here which is a wireless router here connection can be made very easy here now let's take laptops let's take laptops it's fine with laptops now let, let's I hover uh, my, my router here you, you can see that the, 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 the router comes with the two sides they come with the two sides the LAN side and the, 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 the wireless side so Statically, what is what is happening here? We can see that at the LAN side, our router have a, a default IP address 
slash 24. This is a default IP addresses for router, which we are going to use for to configure this router. This is our router here. You can, as you click here and zoom it, you can see this is our router here. So you have GUI, this graphical user interface. In real life, you are not going to uh, access the, the router this way. What you are going to do is that you are going to use the browser to connect to your uh, router. So let's demonstrate that. Let's demonstrate that. We have our laptops here. We have our laptops here. Then we have our laptops here. Let's zoom it. Okay. Now let's read this very, very uh, the important uh, the information. That is the links is WP300N module provides one to open for wireless interface suitable for connection to wireless network. The module supports protocol protocols that use Ethernet for LAN access. What does this mean? This means that uh, this this router for you to access the network, you know that you have to have drivers. So this is similar that this this is similar to that. I mean we have the interface that can allow you to to connect to the wireless network is similar like installing the drivers that can allow you to connect to the network. So now you have to uh, install this 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 interface, shut down the machine, then take the interface back here, then power your machine. As you can see here, there's a communication. Come back again here. Come back again here. You can zoom it. Power your machine off. Take the interface, then return it. The interface, it's more like installing a software. Then power it off. As you can see now, the 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 the, 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 the wireless the communication happens. So now let's access our router. Let's access our router. We have a desktop here. Then we have our PC. You can see that our PC is successfully connected to to the to the access point. So let's go on browser. Uh, 192.168.0.1 which is default IP address for the router then say admin admin those are default login credentials admin now I'm in so this is uh, the the graphical uh, user interface management for for the for the for this switch for this router so now let's change the login first it's for the security purpose it's always advisable not to leave those uh, default configuration as they are. So now let's take let, maybe let's take, uh, let's take CCNA as our new password. CCNA as a new password. Then let's go and save. Let's save the settings. Now let, let, let's check admin. Let's try to make admin and see if our settings have changed. Admin. You can see that you can no login. So let's say admin. Then make CCNA. CCNA. Now cool. Settings are successful, so let's continue. So now we have changed the, the administration. So now let's come to the to the basic setup. The basic setup, as I've mentioned earlier, that this uh, router comes with uh, two, two two interfaces: the LAN side and the wireless side. So the internet type, the internet type. Let's just look the internet type. We have internet type, the internet connection type. So for this, it, it, it's always advisable to make this internet type connection static because dynamically it's going to change. So now let's take a static and then make 192.168.10. And since this is the part of the our larger network, let's make it 10. And full subnet max for class C, 255.255.255. Way, which is the address of the router 192.168.10.12. Now let, let, let's scroll down and save, save the changes. Let's save the changes. Now let's save the changes. Let's save the changes. And uh, now for, 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 for clarity, let me okay, it's cool. Set, setting as successful, I can continue. So for clarity, let's come here. And demonstrate how I'm going to assign the IP addresses now. We have uh, 192.168.10.10 uh, at, at, at the internet side, at the LAN side, and the wireless LAN. 192.168.20.1. 
maybe rest of the PC and then to dot one six eight dot twenty dot zero slash twenty four. Okay. Now I to see this how I add uh, this uh, IP address for this uh, setup are going to be like okay one twenty okay it's fine. Now let's come to the basic configuration. Let's go to the net, net, net network setup. We have a, a router IP, which is this is the default default um, IP address for the router from the manufacturer. So we have to change this address uh, of the router to suit our subnet. So we have to say twenty here. So now let's let let's let's see a, a DH, DHCP server settings. Like I did mention earlier that a, a, DH, a, a DHCP server is responsible for assigning uh, the end devices the IP addresses. As you can see here, starting IP addresses is is dot hundred. The maximum number of user is hundred. The IP range is hundred to fifty nine. Meaning, what this means is that this 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 router is going to start assigning the IP addresses from a hundred to one forty nine. That makes up for fifty users for uh, uh, for assignment uh, for assigning IP addresses. Now let's save settings. Let's save the settings. Let's save the settings. We can realize timeout as you save uh, the, the settings. As you said, uh, setting the connection are going to be lost because uh, because of the IP addresses, uh, the subnet has changed. So we can come here and say static, and then retain smaller like refreshing this. Then you say DHCP. Then you can see that the router dynamically assign this PC uh, dot hundred. Let's come to another another PC uh, PC desktop IP static then return to a DCP then you can see that uh, our, our our router has assigned this laptop hundred and hundred hundred and one IP address. Now it's fine let's back to to the to the browser and log it again. Let's return to the browser and log it again. And to the right to the other one nine two dot Okay, fine. That mean the CNA. Cool, cool. And we are in now. We are in the route. So now let's look the basic uh, settings that we can do in our wireless router. We have the likes of SS SSID, which is service identifier. We have network security. The likes of passphrase, we have to set the key for our network. So let's that see how those configuration are done. So we have to come to the wireless. We have SSID name, SSID, SSID name of a network. This one is default, therefore, we have to change it to make our own. It will be the name of my network. Name of my network. And save the settings. You realize that as I save the settings, the connection are going to be lost because the name has changed. So I have to reconnect my devices again. So I have to come here. Uh, uh, I have to reconnect my device again. So I have to come to PC wireless. We have no, no association with the meaning I, I, the connection is lost. So I have to come to connect. I have to connect, and then the, you can you can see here you can see here the name of the name of my network then. Connect. Therefore, let me do the same, the same procedure with the the, the same lap, the, this laptop. The no association meaning there's no connection. I have to connect it. Now I have I have, I have connected I have connected my devices. You can see as you can see here. As you can see here. So now I have to I have to back and log in into my browser into my router using the browser to do some. Other changes 192.168.20.1 admin sys okay ccna now i'm back again so we still have in the wireless security now broadcast isd meaning this 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 is that the, the devices that have access to connect to ID they will see this network so always leave it as enabled don't suppress it so let's come to the wireless wireless security. 
the security let's say you can see you have drop down these are the security modes in wireless we have a web of which you know that is is less secure there's no encryption so let's go to web 2 personal which is more secure as compared to web I come here we have pass phrase we have pass phrase here this is the the key the the, the password that will enter when connecting the, the the wireless so let me make one two three four five six seven eight nine ten even though this is not recommended uh, so to make as a network engineer because of the security reason but for the purpose of this lab i will just use this uh, network okay this this key okay let's save the changes you also notice again that as i save the changes our devices are going to be disconnected from the the, the, the wireless technology again so now let let me reconnect them again okay, let me reconnect them again come to the pc here then pc wireless uh, then i have to connect then I connect okay now let's choose my ssd connect there will be prompt to enter my uh, uh, pass but my key one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and i have to connect therefore you can see that uh, we have successfully connected to the access point this is uh, the profile okay don't, 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 don't worry about the profile now let me connect my my, my second my second device let's connect my second device now pc wireless if i connect i have to select my ssid connect i have to enter the password one two three four five six seven eight nine zero okay i have connected now it's cool the information i have successfully connected now let let let, let, let me log in again my router using a browser uh, 192.168.10.10.10 okay i mean mean ccna okay fine now we have done uh, some basic change some basic uh, co configuration on how to change the the the, the, the password so we can also have have make address uh, wireless here we have uh, make, wireless make filter this is whereby uh, when you come to a uh, wireless make filter let's say in, a, in an environment whereby you have so many people accessing to you will just register you will leave the, the 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 password um may be unprotected without a key but the only devices that will access this network is the devices that have registered here we will have to register the mac address for those devices so now let us look in the situation where i want to uh, maybe other employees arrive so therefore i have to connect that laptop to the internet the same procedure here is another laptop here come to here uh, the same project I have to install uh, this, this interface. I have to install in to install this interface here. Power my machine off. It's okay. And then I have to come desktop here. PC wireless. Connect. I have to select my SSID. The signal quality 99%, which is much good. Connect the pass free one two three four five six seven eight nine. Meaning zero in my device now can able to connect connect now I, I have successfully connected this a new employee so now let's check if this uh, device can communicate let's check let's check if this device can communicate let's check if this device can communicate here you can just take here Now you can see that they can communicate. Let's see this device now can be able to reach my, my router. In, sorry, in 192.168.10.1. Now this device can be able to, to see my router. Thank you very much, guys. Hope you like this video. Till the next time. Peace.